All right, continuing on with our chapter four videos, and we're going to talk about concentrations in this video. So specifically solution concentrations, we want to remember real quickly what, a, what it really means for something to be a solution. And when we're talking about solutions, we're talking about a homogeneous mixture. of two or more things. All right, remember when we're talking about homogeneous, <clears throat> we're specifically saying that the, um, the mixture is the same throughout the, the container, okay? Um, or throughout the sample. So if I take a sample from the bottom or the sample from the top, those samples will be identical to each other. So when we're talking about a solution, we're talking about a homogeneous mixture. And in that homogeneous mixture, the solution, we have what we refer to as the major component. And the term for that one is solvent. And we have a minor component. And that one is called the solute. Right, solute and solvent. Now the amount of solute is important. We're not super concerned with the amount of solvent because it's the major component. So we're not often going to be con uh, worrying about how much of the solvent there is but we are very concerned with how much solute is in that solvent. Because if we have a dilute solution, that means that we have a small amount of solute. Or if we have a concentrated solution, we have a lot of solute. Okay, so the amount of solute will uh, have a good uh, impact on how things come about. Now the common expression uh, for concentration in chemistry is molarity. And we denote molarity with a capital M. Right? And now there are other um, ways to talk about concentration. You can talk about um, another one is called molality. There's one called, you know, of course, there's parts per million, parts per billion, um, pounds per square inch. Um, well, that's really a unit of pressure. But there are other um, ways to talk about concentrations. But the most common in chemistry is molarity. And what molarity means is moles of solute per liter of solution. Right? So the, the important thing to, to latch on to is that molarity is moles per liter. All right? I'm going to say it a lot. Moles per liter, moles per liter, moles per liter. Okay? What are the units of molarity? Moles per liter. <laughs> All right? So for example, if I have a volumetric flask, this is a very long-necked, very wide-bottomed volumetric flask, but they kind of look like this. A volumetric flask will have a mark somewhere on the neck that um, denotes the exact volume. So in this case, I'm going to talk about a one-liter volumetric flask. All right. So what I'll do is I'll take um, some sodium chloride, And I'll put it in my volumetric flask, and then I'll fill to the line with water. And I believe you'll be doing some of this during some of your lab activities this semester with your at-home lab kits. Um, so if I've got one liter of solution, and let's say if I put one mole of sodium chloride in that one liter solution, then we say that that is one molar 
sodium chloride. Okay. So these things equal each other. One mole sodium chloride per liter, one molar sodium chloride. So let's do a little bit of practice with um, calculating these things. So the question is this. So what is the molarity of a solution when 25.5 grams of potassium bromide is dissolved in water to make 1.75 liters of solution. Right? So I'll start by asking the question, what are the units of molarity? Are moles per liter, moles of solute per liter of solution. My KBR, my potassium bromide, that's my solute. 1.75 liters is my solution. So, but I'm given grams of potassium bromide. So I need to convert to moles. All right, so I use molar mass to do that. So my conversion between moles and grams is molar mass. So I'm gonna start by writing down my given information. And one mole of KBR, potassium bromide, is 119.00 grams. My grams of KBR will cancel. So that tells me that I have 0 0.2143 tracking at the third sig fig moles of KBR. All right, so my molarity is moles per liter. So now that I've got moles, I was already given liters in the problem. So my molarity is 0 0.2143 moles of KBR, potassium bromide, divided by 1.75 1, 1. liters of solution. And so we get 0 0.122 molar solution, or we can say molar KBR. All right, so we're really not concerned with anything involving trying to talk about concentration of water because the concentration of water, even in a solution like this, is somewhere around like 50 molar. <laughs> so the, definitely the major component. So it's so much more concentrated than the potassium bromide. We really don't care, right? We just want to talk about the volume of our solution. So let's use um, molarity in a slightly different way. Rather than just calculating molarity, molarity can also work for us as a conversion factor. So just like molar mass is how we convert between moles and grams, molarity allows us to convert between moles and liters. Okay, so talking about liquid solution. So if molarity works as a conversion factor, I can write it either way. So for example, if I have 0.5 moles of sodium chloride per liter of solution, That will allow me to convert liters of solution to moles of sodium chloride. 
right? Or if I flip it, that allows me to convert moles of sodium chloride to liters of solution. Okay, so molarity works as a conversion factor. Right, so just like when we, like I said, we've already talked about um, using molar mass as a conversion factor. We've already done things where we used density as a conversion factor. Molarity works exactly the same way. Right, so practice with this idea. Here's our question. How many liters of 0.125 molar sodium hydroxide solution contain 0 0.255 moles of sodium hydroxide? Now here's your trick. So it will be very tempting to you to use the molarity as the first thing that you write down. I want you to recognize whenever you see this capital M, that makes this a conversion factor. All right? You are almost never going to start with the molarity in these calculations. Molarity is a conversion factor, just like converting milliliters to liters or anything like that. You're never going to start with the conversion. We're going to start with that as our given information. All right, so we're going to write down 0.255 moles of sodium hydroxide. All right, so molarity means moles per liter. Right, so I want to write a conversion factor that has moles on the bottom. So I'm going to say liters of solution per 1.25 moles sodium hydroxide. Right, this is my molarity. Okay. And if I have been careful with writing out all my units, I can easily see that moles of sodium hydroxide, whoa, sorry, moles of sodium hydroxide will cancel. And that gives me 2.04 liters of solution. All right, now bear in mind, thinking about sig figs, because sig figs always count, that is a measured value. So it counts for sig figs. All right, so I would have three sig figs in that conversion. Then I have three sig figs in my given information, so I have three sig figs in my answer. So I'm going to stop this video right here, and we'll continue with the next video.